Hey everyone, this is Fred of Cosmetic Arts. Thank you for tuning in to another one of my video logs. First off, I want to say Happy New Year to all of you that are around the world, actually keep up with the vlogs. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Also, I want to say that it is a definite season of a lot of comic book conventions and anime conventions and other things going on. Everything geek. We all love it. This uh, past weekend of what just happened was the Wizard World Comic Con in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, three of my friends went down there. They actually had a chance to meet Christopher Lloyd. Uh, let's see, what's some, I think there was uh, one guy there that was uh, Chewbacca from Star Wars or whatnot. They had a blast. Also, one of my friends, J.J. Shipman, shout out to you guy, actually got featured in one of the photos and some of the headlines for the New, World, New Orleans Wizard World Comic Con. So, hats off to you, dude. Um, so, other events that are coming up that are more local that's going to be happening in Mississippi, I definitely want to spread the word out to you guys. The first one that I know about that is actually coming up in March, it's going to be March 11th of this year, it is called the Mississippi Anime Festival. Now, this will be the first anime festival that will be held in Mississippi at the Mississippi Trademark. Not counting the Anime Getaway or Anime Blue Fest. I think they had an Anime Blues Fest here somewhere in Mississippi probably some time ago. But that's not counting those. This one is going to actually be like an official Mississippi Animes Fest. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I actually thought about getting a table for that. But since there are other artists out there that are more local that are actually trying to get themselves out... I decided to go ahead and just kind of take a, take a step back and let them try to get a shot at actually getting themselves a table. But if this if it all goes well and it come back comes back next year, I will definitely get a table for it. Another event that is actually coming up for uh, Mississippi is Southern Geek Fest 2.0. I have to say that. Uh, me and a couple of my friends are actually going to pitch in and uh, do a tribute to someone who was supposed to be a special guest there. Uh, he was like a mentor to me. His name was Robert Day. So his daughter and I and another friend of ours named Brandy will be there doing a little tribute to let people know exactly who he was and what it is that he had done. And why he was so good at what he had done. May you rest in peace, buddy. I'm so sorry that that things had happened to you the way they did. And I wish that you were still here today to see how so much people has actually provided the love that they had given, you know, towards everyone else for you. And the love that you had spread to everyone else. Now, on to the, one of the other events that are going to be going on. We have the... Mississippi Comic Con that is happening this year and this one I am coming back for I actually went ahead and purchased a table for that um I'm really excited for it. last year's Mississippi Comic Con was much more of a success than I was thinking it was going to be we had Johnny Young Bosch we also had Steve Cardenas Vernon Wells Ernie Hudson, Rochelle Davis. We had some very good um, local artists, and we also had some professional artists. One of them was Stephen Butler. He's very well known, actually. He very well known. I actually met him at the 2015 Mississippi Comic Con. Um, K. Michael Russell as well, and they pretty much gave me some encouraging words to give me the push to actually do what I am doing. And so last year's Mississippi Comic Con came. I actually had a table, and I didn't get a chance to actually film for you guys because I didn't think about a YouTube at the time until there were people that actually came to my table, and some of them were saying, like, oh, I can't draw, so I decided to go ahead and just start up a YouTube channel to actually teach people how to draw. Um, but uh, I wish I kind of filmed that. Um, like I said, it was so much more of a success than I expected it to be. And it was just, it was just incredible. Like, it, it was just jam-packed. So, uh, this year, they're planning to, uh, I'm not quite sure exactly how things are going to actually go for 
uh, the whole layout of the building because this time they have the entire building of the Mississippi Trademark occupied for just the Mississippi Comic Con. But to me, it's a very good thing because uh, that way more people can actually be spread out. Uh, we could probably have like a vendor's room in one area. What Whatever's going to actually happen, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, um, I am planning on doing some live uh, videos uh, for the Mississippi Comic Con. It's a two-day event, just like the Southern Geek Fest is as well. So definitely give me a, a follow on my Cosmetic Arts page if you guys are interested. And that way I can actually provide more live feed for you guys. Uh, not only that, but I'm also going to be doing some small filming here and there, uh, like a little compilation. Um, definitely got some plans in, in mind for that. Uh, what I do have in mind for the Mississippi Anime Festival is that I'm actually going to just walk around and film that and actually get some of my friends on film with me. Uh, that way I can show you guys exactly what the uh, festival is all about. Uh, even for some of you that may not actually watch anime, but I'm really trying to actually help spread the word about these kind of events because really these events push us to not be thinking about anything that's so negative. We're actually accepting each other for who we are. It doesn't even matter if you're LGBT, what culture you are, skin color. It doesn't matter on any of that. Because that is the one place of where it's like utopia. And that is something that I say that this community really needs a lot more often. And so uh, I think that there's a Coast Con. There's also a Geekonomic Con. And Fear Feed, Gamer Feed. There's so many uh, things going on with uh, Mississippi right now. And I'm so happy that it's actually growing. But it's not only just growing for Mississippi, it's also growing for Alabama, Louisiana, Tennessee, Arkansas, all these uh, southern states. However, uh, future cons that I really want to try to go to, one of them is definitely the Pensacola. I actually have some family that lives down in Pensacola. Um, I think that that would be a nice little uh, thing for them. It also would be a pretty good reason for me to actually give them a little visit as well. I haven't seen them in years. Um... Another one I would like to go to is Dragon Con. That one I actually tried to go to last year, and it didn't really work out due to finances. Um, hopefully next year, since I did not get a chance to go to Wizard World, World Comic Con in uh, New Orleans, I probably have the budget to be able to go. Uh, I kind of missed out on that, and I hate that I did. But anyway, um, let me know, let me know if you guys uh, have any other cons that may have uh, actually sparked your interest that I probably need to actually uh, uh, do a little bit of research on. And you guys take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. I'm Fred from Cosmetic Arts. Peace out.